Greetings guys, welcome back to the channel. We are doing a full donut tutorial today. And oh my god, when I say this donut nail set was literally super super fun. I had a time of my life creating this set and I was so excited that I recorded it so I can show you guys how I created it. So let's get into it. So what you'll see me doing here is I'm basically just applying my nail tips and I'm going to do that for all four nails. But just checking in with you guys. How you guys been doing? How you been feeling? I know a girl been MIA. And it's because a girl had COVID. You hear me? I'm recovering. So, yeah. I really was out of it. I ain't gonna lie to you. And I was just like, I gotta take care of me. The YouTube will be here and things of that nature. So, when I started feeling better, I decided to just create a simple easy nail tutorial for you guys and also you know just to bring up my spirits because whenever i do my nails i really feel happy even though they come off literally like a couple of seconds after the youtube video because i use my own hands to actually create the designs i need which i need to buy me a nail hand because i'm just like i want to start back wearing my nails i feel so girly girly so i did my toes or whatever when i was under the weather just you know so i can feel up to par but yeah so i just want to let you guys know i'm okay i'm doing really well i'm recovering from the aka sickness but like i said i'm doing great so i just want to give you guys an update on me but i hope everything has been going good for you guys it is also july 5th and that means we are already halfway through the year yeah and I have a lot of things in store for my channel, for my brand, for myself. And I cannot wait to share them with you. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to the channel. What you doing? You ain't subscribed to the channel yet? Subscribe to the channel. But yeah, I will be back. I just want to check in with you guys, see how you guys are doing. Give you guys a little mini update about me. And I'll be coming back in to give you guys the full detailed tutorial on how to create this immaculate 3D donut. So be right back. Stay tuned.
Shake, check. So what I'm getting right here is my white Beatles gel polish. I'm putting it on my nail palette. And I'm going to go ahead and start creating the drips. Now what you see me using here is a dotting tool to create the drips. I wanted to show you guys that you do not always need a nail art brush per se to be able to create certain type of looks that looks intricate but they're really not. So I'm just basically lathering up my dotting tool to make sure I have enough gel polish on there. And I'm just basically going like round in like mini swirls to get that drip effect. And I'm going to do this for the two nails. And the reason why you see we have a nail art brush right now for this, no, I technically don't need it. It was because I just wanted to hurry up and just fill this one in because this drip was actually a little bit in, bigger in size than the first drip. And I kind of was trying to create something else that I ended up still creating the same exact drip, which was something I wasn't trying to do, which is why I grabbed the brush, but... 
either way the design still turned out really great i really like it but yeah you don't really need a nail art brush to create this design you can really create this entire design just using the dotting tool so what you see me doing here is i'm just grabbing the brush and i'm gonna drain some of the liquid out of it because you don't want this to be as loose you kind of want it to be semi medium dry and i'm just double layering it to give it that dimension of that 3d effect for the donuts <laughs> Now I'm just grabbing my dotting tool and I'm just basically going to put a mini hole inside of the donuts. Now I'm just grabbing my bling gel and I'm just going to put a little tiny dot onto the nail just a little bit because I don't really need it too much. I don't need it to be too thick because you don't want it to overflow on the side of the nail. So just put just enough up there. Now I angled this one because I wanted to kind of give it more dimension of it hanging off of the other donut. Now I'm just taking my nail art brush and I'm actually going to do some drips now. You're going to start seeing the first three drips look a little wonky. It was because I did not know why I actually wanted to layer the drips until I actually got on the back side of the donut. So I'm actually going to end up erasing this part here and actually just filling it in in another form. Hope that makes sense. But yeah just create the little mini drips going around the entire donut because you want to make sure that you're giving it that ice icing feeling because it is actually a donut So now I'm just basically going in using a thinner brush and I'm just using little strokes just to add in like the dimension for the sprinkles. And oh my God, when I say that this was coming together perfectly, I was so freaking excited.
this is the final look thank you guys so much for tuning in to the channel don't forget to hit the like button subscribe and comment below period thank you guys so much for tuning in see you next time